Relo, the Spanish word for clock. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Ecuador. It's our last day here in Ecuador. And it's my last day studying all of this Spanish. Look at all these papers, though. All this homework that I've done. And that's just from this week. So I'm gonna get to work, I'm gonna learn some Spanish, and then we're going to go on an adventure. So we'll see you in a little bit. And because it's our last day, I have to celebrate with a burger. And I feel like the Spanish classes was kind of like going to the doctor after not going for years and years, and then you figure out how many problems you have. Got it? That's exactly how I felt. So remember when I said something about um, wanting to do a video all in Spanish? I'm gonna save you from that right now because I know that I have a bunch of different problems and things to work on, but hopefully we can go back to the doctor and he gives a better evaluation in a few weeks or, uh, let's be honest, a few months. But I'm gonna eat this burger and celebrate the three weeks of learning that we had. We learned a ton. And then we're gonna go on an adventure because that's what we do. So, We'll see you in a little bit. And welcome to the Basilica. We are here to explore the very top up there today, but we're gonna go check out the insides. If you've been here to Quito before, you will know that this is the church that you can see from miles away. It is absolutely beautiful on the outside, but we're gonna go check out the inside now. Random fact, that's Pope John Paul II. He blessed this church in 1985. Random fact over. All right, so after a quick elevator flight, I would not recommend the stairs. We're to the top. You can't go inside of the church, but you can walk over the church. This place is crazy. But look at the view. So no joke, you walk over the church and you really can't go into the main section of the church. I don't understand why. Well, apparently there's no service, so that's why. But usually you can go and visit and see the insides of the church. Here, you take the elevator up, and you go and walk across here, and then you get a sweet view of the rest of the city. So here we go and walking on top of the church. Wish we could see the other side underneath the church, but uh, this is pretty cool. I mean, look at this. It's pretty incredible. go up these stairs and step number three is done for arriving at the destination but there's one more step and it looks kind of like this okay. and we've made it to the top it's really windy up here but absolutely beautiful church that we can't go and see is right down there. The rest of the city is all around here. Pretty awesome. decorated with animals that are from here in Ecuador. For instance, there's a condor that's up there. There's another kind of bird right down there that I don't want to say, but it rhymes with ubi. 
The other thing is that they kind of ran out of money when they thought about building this church. And so they had to tax salt in order to build the rest of this church, which is kind of crazy, but I can understand why. It's a massive and absolutely beautiful church with lots of animals. Sure got dark quickly, but it's our last day here in Quito, so we have to go and explore the Panecillo. And there are a lot of people here right now because it's a beautiful view of the city at night. Absolutely beautiful. So let's go check it out. So if you do come here to Quito, you have to go to the Panacillo because it's just a symbol, a trademark here in Quito. And you can see all of the city. I would recommend coming here at night. Absolutely beautiful to see the city and all of the lights. You can grab yourself some food, grab yourself a little souvenir, and be on your way. Anyways, I wish I could have some cotton candy. Can you buy me some of these? No, we have no money. Shoot. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. But for now, ciao Piscow. Rhymes with Ubi. And, uh...